idea is that we all see the world through a unique pair of glasses. It's our own perception. We're stuck behind that perception until we change our glasses, and I'll now demonstrate. So if you remove your glasses and you change your perception, and you replace them with new ones, this is already working. You get a shift of perspective, you get a shift of paradigm. I felt that Philip would be a very inspiring speaker for our students, but also for our, our faculty, because the idea of hyperthinking is, I think, embedded in the McEwen philosophy. Um, I think we are, as McEwenites, as members of the McEwen family, uh, natural hyperthinkers. So to recap the four dimensions of hyperthinking, and there will be a test at the end of this session, it's hyper-shifting, to shift paradigm, hyper-learning, which is to become creative and to become a self-learner, hyper-linking, which is using your digital connections, and hyper-acting, which is putting your ideas in practice and learning through trial and error. What I was really impressed with tonight was the level of engagement in the questions period. Because sometimes it's really hard to get sort of like people are engaged in the topic, but they're not necessarily feeling brave enough to speak up or to voice their own questions or concerns or comments or feedback on the, the presentation. So yeah, tonight's crowd was really great for that as far as having pertinent things to say and questions to ask and I thought that was fantastic. It's been really interesting uh, to be in Edmonton and I discovered people very open to new ideas. I've had intense conversations with students, with teachers and tonight with a, a range of different people who were really hyper thinkers in the making. I think that was, that was fantastic. There was a, an openness to shifting paradigms, creativity, online learning, and um, I'm really looking forward to continuing the conversation online. Well, as Albert Einstein said, we can't solve our problems at the same level of thinking that created them, and I hope hyperthinking can be that new level of thinking.